Now, in all, about two million Americans are about to run out of jobless benefits unless Congress does take action. Imagine being out of work and having your unemployment benefits expire just before the holidays. That's the case for thousands of Iowans. Autumn Carpenter is trying not to panic, but her unemployment benefits run out the week before Christmas. Mine, when it runs out, it's, I don't know what I'm going to do. We dump the money in the Middle East. That's a good time. There, enjoy that. Meanwhile, back here in America, people pleaded with lawmakers to keep their social services, but that may not happen. And it looks like a lot of things will be cut, a lot of things will be frozen, yet military spending. Defense spending is the least efficient way to stimulate the economy among all other government uh, spendings. Voting for things that actually make jobs is proving harder for many politicians to squeeze out of their face. The Congressional Budget Office is not partisan. They just do the math on proposed policies to see what their impact would be. And when they studied 11 different proposed policies for their effect on jobs numbers, the number one most effective one was aid to the unemployed. So, splat. Congress has not passed an extension on unemployment benefits, meaning thousands of Oklahomans could have no money coming in. Jobless Oklahomans, they are worried because if they can't find jobs and if lawmakers don't pass another extension, they're not going to be able to pay the bills to keep the heat on and have a place to live. Angel Zachary is running out of unemployment and fast. I just hope and pray that I have a job before it ends. The overall Pentagon budget for fiscal 2010 is some $660 billion. Many, though, estimate the intensified war in Afghanistan will drive costs even higher. The White House's estimated price tag, a million dollars per soldier per year. Once that money is approved, it would bring the total here uh, for U.S. operations since September 11th to almost, I mean, 2001 we're talking, to almost $1 trillion. Thousands of Americans across the country, including here in Kentucky, their unemployment insurance benefits are running out today. Uh, we ought to recognize that these two wars uh, uh, qualify at least as a contributing cause of the economic calamity that we are uh, trying to deal with at present.